Gemini, how are you? This is your weekend tarot reading. We're going to go into the energy. We're going to see what message we get for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart. And also, it is divinely timed. So, you know, um, it may resonate with you at any given point. And sometimes, you know, it's a collective reading. So take what resonates. And sometimes they'll you might not be able to take the whole message because I'm trying to interpret the cards for lots of different types of scenarios. But they may you may feel the deeper message within. Um... So yeah, let's see what we get for Gemini. Thanks for subscribing. Right, so you've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, but it's in reversed. Um, what you need to do is, um, now, for, for some of you, this could be about a platonic relationship, you know, and it's just, it's fine. It's just, it's just literally what it is. It's just a platonic relationship. Um, for others of you, it could be that in your head, you think you've got romantic feelings for somebody, but in reality, what you're going to find is it's not really the case. Either <clears throat> when you meet this person, you just won't even feel attracted, or um, in actual fact, you're not really in love with them. It's just your head keeps telling you you're in love, but actually, are you really in love? Are you just Have you just got a projection of who you think this person is and actually the person you think you're in love with, they're not really that person, you know? So there's different messages there. Let's see what's going on here, fairy energy. Ooh. <laughs> now, this is very interesting. This is definitely a platonic relationship or um, a situation where you're really not going to be attracted because <laughs> there's ecstasy in reverse. Now, when I see the ec ecstasy card, I do always think of orgasm because <laughs> I'm naughty like that. But, um, you know, it, it's basically um, it's universal energy in the universe that feels very ecstatic, you know, very creative. It's in reverse. I mean, this is definitely a platonic relationship they're talking about. Or maybe a letdown when you meet somebody and actually the attraction just isn't there um, kind of thing. Or or maybe you're just inventing an idea. You know, you've, it's like an attachment. You've just got an attachment to somebody, but actually there's not really any real love there. You, it's just sometimes the ego just creates an attachment to somebody because it wants to attach to somebody. <laughs> and if you actually think about it, who is this person? Do you really know this person or is it just... You, you've formed an idea of who you think they are. Um, you know, that's, that's the, other, the other thing. Right, so anyway, let's go deeper. Hmm. Okay, so, interesting. Death to rebirth. Okay. Um, something has been over, right? Something has been over here, but it's either been hard to let go of it um, and you know, or it could be even a person, yeah, um, it's hard to let go, but it's having to come to terms with the fact that it's over, you know, now, um, you've got here the Queen of Wands, now, the Queen of Wands, I like to call the Queen of Benefits, okay, this is where I've been doing my, my tarot study, Queen of Benefits, because with the Queen of Wands, this is somebody who you can get a lot of benefits from, but not in like you're going to use her, but it's just, you know, it's it's kind of like having a friend with benefits, but not like sexual, do you know what I mean? Because this is obviously, but you know, uh, well, I mean, it could be someone new that, that, you, that you would get that from, but on the whole, this is like somebody who you're going to get benefits from this person and it's not sexual, but it's like, you're going to get advice you know this is someone who's good in business or they're good really inspiring um you know and uh this person could really help you also i mean this could even be your energy you know that you are basically somebody with benefits to offer others and that's what you're kind of doing you know like you're helping people and people are inspired having you around and people can get a lot from you you know um so this is very positive energy after a difficult time where you had to let go of something, but it's difficult to let go of it. Um, but, you know, Tarot is sort of saying, whatever situation it is, it's probably very sad, but it is kind of accepting it's sort of done, you know? Um, now, so you've got this good energy of this Queen of Wands, um, somebody that can help you, or, you know, you're, you're inspiring other people and doing very well. 
Um, because that's success in business, by the way. That is success in your purpose. Whether you're in business, whether you've got a career, whether you've got a life path, um, whatever it is your focus is, success. So you're going to be doing very well here. You've got some very positive energy, positive developments. And like I said, you're linked to somebody who can be very useful to you. Now, you've also got the Empress in reverse. You could be losing, uh, this, this sounds hard, losing a female figure who could have been like a mother figure to you um, or is a mother. Could be a feminine energy person, doesn't have to be a woman. Um, but basically, you know, uh, that's possible. And the other thing is something kind of not really working out. It's like been a new beginning, but there's either a delay with this new beginning or um, if there's not a delay, it's like, actually, do you know what? This actually isn't going to work. It's not going to sort of grow. Do you know what I mean? It's um, you're going to be going down the wrong direction, you know? So it take what resonates because it is it, for some of you, it might be you're losing a feminine figure. Or for others of you, it's like um, something's not going to go forward for you. And it would be better to kind of actually put the energy into yourself right now rather than pursuing a certain path, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, that, that's that message. Right, let's go into a message for your person. Ooh. Right. Oh, my God. This is amazing. You've got somebody here with good news. This is good news coming in. Somebody's going to give you good news. Also, you could have somebody here that's very attracted to you. I know we talked about the platonic side of things uh, and maybe a side of things where somebody it's, it's a bit of a no goer, especially with that Empress card reverse. For some of you, just don't pursue somebody because it ain't going to go anywhere. Um, for, for others of you, you know, this could be good news about something completely different. Um, also, where something hasn't worked out with somebody, there could be somebody new coming in who is going to be very attracted to you, um, who is very attracted to you. And look at this, um, you know, or it could be someone current in your life that's very attracted to you and they've got the world. That person, I tell you, they mean business. This person is here to stay. They're here to stay in your life. They give you good news. Um, they offer good news about a major completion. All right, that's very good uh, because it's coming above the Queen of Wands. So um, let's have a look at a final message from your spirit, guys. I'm doing quite a long reading here, but it's a very interesting reading. Um, so, wow. Um, okay, practice in reverse. You don't need to practice certain situations. Like I said, I feel there is a strong message here for you not to pursue certain things. Um uh, because it would be pointless. Um, and um, I feel like some of you have already got the right person or the right situation coming, and that's why you don't need to go searching for somebody else or go searching for something else. Because spirit's either bringing you the person or the situation you want, you know, um, and that's what they're doing. Um, now, um, you've got here imagine in reverse as well. Again, you don't need to imagine scenarios because spirits you've e either already got the person or situation you want or spirits just about to bring it to you <laughs> so I, I can honestly say to you Gemini this is one of the funniest readings I've done for a while there's tons going on I would say the best thing for you to do is don't do very much try and stay in a positive energy don't pursue stuff that you don't need to pursue because spirits going to bring you what you need You've got somebody here that's very, very helpful, very good energy. You've got good news coming in. So just hold fire, <laughs> hold fire right now, okay? Because I, there's some good stuff happening here for you, all right? So that's the message. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one-to-one -one tarot, I'm here. Have a really good weekend, wherever you are on Gaia. Thank you for subscribing.